Hey YouTube, this is Trains and Destinations, and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick laptop unboxing. So what I'm going to unbox here is probably what is arguably one of the cheapest name brand laptops you can buy on Amazon. And so, let's get started. So today I will be unboxing the Asus L210M, as you can see right here. This is the Asus L210. And as far as the specs goes, this has an 11.6 inch 720p display. Uh, it has an Intel Celeron N4020 processor with a 64 gigabyte eMMC drive, 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 802.11 AC Wi Fi, as well as a 38 watt hour battery. So, this laptop, again, this is probably the cheapest name brand laptop you can buy on Amazon, or at least one of the cheapest. This cost me $199. Uh, the price usually fluctuates between $200 and $230, $240. So if you see this laptop for $199, it's a pretty compelling deal. Um, but if you see it for any more than that, like especially more than, say, $210 or $215, then just wait for that price to come down because for some reason I've really noticed the price fluctuating, and it seems to fluctuate day by day. So anyway, going over the box, it's a very simple box. You have your seal here, and then, of course, your Asus slogan there and your branding and other than that's a very simple cardboard box one cool feature though is that this laptop does include a full one year of of office 365 so that's a nice thing that asus gives you again a full one year subscription to office and so obviously with that this laptop is definitely aimed towards you know more working class students whether in high school or middle school or even college um, if you're a college student and all you do is writing documents basically an email and social media then this laptop can work pretty good for you. You know, if you don't need to do any serious work, this can work. So anyway, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. All right, it was that simple. And just like every other sort of Asus unboxing you can see that the lid simply opens up like this so it's a nice presentation so there's really not much to see here so you have your laptop right there and then here you have your warranty so this pretty much will come with a one-year manufacturer warranty and then this is your owner's manual now this this is this experience is very similar because uh, not that long ago in 2018 I actually owned the previous version of this laptop, which was the Asus E203, which I didn't mind that laptop, um, but on the other hand though, that laptop only had a 32 gigabyte eMMC drive, so it was pretty unusable. Uh, the base model of that only had two gigs of RAM, which made it even more unusable, uh, and the build quality wasn't that great, but just having looked at recent Asus laptops, their build quality is getting a lot better. And uh, case in point with this little guy, so first impressions is this thing is really light. This is a very lightweight laptop, um, which will obviously make it good for, you know, it's obviously very good as it means it's nice and portable. You can easily throw it in a bag. Um, I mean, something this small, again, would be perfect, you know, if, again, you're a high school student, a college student, even a, you know, remote office worker who just doesn't have a ton of space to put their laptop. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. So it is this sort of navy blue color, I believe. I forget the exact color, um, but it's either, no, okay, it's a black. It's more of a black than a navy blue. But you can see it looks pretty nice. It's a decent finish on here. You got your Asus logo. And then you got a little cutout there to be able to lift up the hinge. And then on the bottom of the laptop there, you just got your standard information. You got your speakers down here. And then four rubber feet. Look, they look pretty unsubstantial, but not too crazy. And based on all the screws, it looks like you actually can open this up. Though, if you can upgrade anything, um, I highly doubt it. These these sort of laptops you can't really upgrade, but perhaps in this one. So taking a look here, the hinge feels a little bit loose, but I mean it is stable. It does stay in position. And then going to the keyboard, it's a full chiclet style keyboard here. Feels good from first impressions. Has a decent click. There's no mushiness. And then right here is your trackpad. 
trackpad feels very nice, very substantial, so I like that. And as you can see, you might be wondering, well, why is there a calculator here? Well, that's because this does have um, the ASUS signature number pad, where basically, um, if you actually hit right here on the trackpad, this will actually turn it into a calculator. So I believe what it will do is that if you turn this on, it will automatically open the calculator app in Windows, and you'll be able to use this to type in your numbers instead of having to move the cursor on your screen and use the calculator that way. So it's a pretty cool feature, you know. It kind of makes up for the fact that, you know, being a small laptop, it doesn't have your traditional number row on the right-hand side. So that's not bad at all. Um, so again, this keyboard looks pretty nice, as you can see. You have a, for some reason, you have this yellow enter key. I guess they wanted to highlight that for some reason. And then there's your sort of old school Intel sticker. And then this tells you right there, you know, lightweight, extremely portable, uh, lay flat display, which is true. You can fold this screen down 180 degrees. Not sure why you would do that, but you can do it. Um, and then of course your number pad, and of course Energy Star HDMI. And we'll get to the ports in just a sec. Now, if you're gonna use this laptop for Zoom sessions, um, I would just be careful, because this laptop, has only a 480p webcam. And you can see right there, that webcam, there's not even a glass cover over the webcam. It's just a hole there. And you can see the tiny little camera in there. This is a VGA quality webcam. So um, yeah, you're not, yeah. So on Zoom calls or Discord calls or Skype, you're honestly not gonna look that good. It, I mean, it'll be passable, but again, it's only 480p. So if you're gonna, or if you're thinking about using this for say professional business use, uh, you might want to look elsewhere because that webcam is really not that good. It's very, very mediocre. I've used that. I've used this webcam on other ASUS laptops, and it is kind of bad looking. But anyway, here's the screen. It is a matte screen, which I really like. So very easy to clean. Although of course you're going to have slightly more muted colors, but for me at least, I like that. Again, your nice keyboard, and then we'll end off by going over the port selection. So as you can see, this is a very thin laptop. Um, so right here is your uh, power port. So, and I'll actually show the charger. Oh. Oh, I moved it back here. So this is your charger. It's a standard ASUS charger. I like that your power adapter is integrated into the actual wall plug. So this will make it even more portable. You won't have anything dangling in the middle of the cord. So it's a very simple charger, easy to take with you. So again, it adds to the portableness of this thing. So like I said, you have your power port and then you have a micro SD card slot. I would have preferred a full size SD card slot, but you know, it seems that pretty much every laptop has micro SD. Here you have a USB type C port, which is nice to see. You know, some of these cheaper laptops tend to omit that, but this does have type C. You also have an HDMI and a USB port. And this tells you if the laptop is charging or not. So that's your charging light. And then on the right hand side of the laptop you have your headphone jack right there as well as another USB port and that's about it. So comparing this to the E203 I can just tell that this is slightly lighter weight um, and also thinner. It's slightly thinner, slightly lighter weight. Um, build quality feels a little bit, feels a bit better. It's not amazing. Again, it's a $200 laptop but it feels fine. Um, one thing that's perhaps a little disappointing though is that these bezels are a bit on the big side. Um, I mean, they're not awful. They're kind of smallish, but you would think that they could have made these a bit smaller. But, you know, to be fair, you can see there wasn't really much room to shrink down, really, because you can see very few gaps on these sides here. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching my unboxing of the Asus L210 laptop. And if I have any future videos, um, just stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching.